All right, so we ended up uh, wrecking, we ended up destroying the Charlotte Hornets last game, and we had a lot of players out there do some pretty big things for us. But I gotta be quite honest, though, man. Some of my team's jump shots are horrendous. Uh, mainly Trey Burke, who shot two for eleven, man. Two for eleven. What's up with that? So I called my boy Damian Lillard, and I was like, "Yo, Lillard, you know, I know you're making dough out there on uh, Portland, so I know you ain't gonna come uh, to my team or whatnot, so we can't afford you." But can you hook my boy Trey Burke up? So I was like, yo, Trey Burke, I don't care, young bluff. You've been shooting that jump shot since you've been uh, started playing basketball. We actually went out, and I went to my roster. And I was like, yo, man, I got to switch up that jump shot. It's ugly as hell, man. It's not realistic, man. Like, he going out there getting blocked every single time he shoots a jump shot. So I went to add a player here, man. I was like, yo, Trey Burke, we switching up your style, man. So uh, I went ahead, man. I gave him Damian a little jump shot. And quite honestly, it actually kind of looks more like his jump shot anyway. So... You know, I don't feel too bad about it. So, you know, that had to go. Um, as far as that goes, though, you know, uh, Justice Winslow definitely played his first game. It was definitely a rookie game for him. And I saw some good things, saw some bad things. Uh, the bad things wasn't nearly as bad as the good things was. So, he actually had uh, three steals and two blocks for us as the rookie in 12 minutes of gameplay. Um, shot four for 17 out there. Shot quite a few threes. That was my fault, man. Like, he was open, though, a lot. Um, I just have to, I just have to understand how to use him, how to utilize his style of play out there, and very important. So, uh, you know, we definitely gonna be working with his game and whatnot. And one of my subscribers is actually saying he's a very good one-on-one -on -one player. I definitely was not utilizing him like that. So that's something we gotta switch up for sure, for sure out there. Uh, let's go ahead and yo, what's uh, what we got going on here? Uh, one thing I gotta switch real quick here is another one of my subscribers made a good point saying, yo, put Amari Stoudemire at power forward. Uh, you don't even think about that, because, like, Amari did play power forward back when he was on the, uh, the Suns, and he even played a little bit on the Knicks, too, I believe, so, where was, where was this at, so we're gonna go ahead, switch him to that, uh, power forward position, he'll be our backup power forward, and we'll go ahead and, uh, use Steven Adams at the center, I mean, it's, you know, it's a, it's a good move, it's a good move that allows us to use the seven-footer, and Amari Stoudemire, he's not as quick as he once was, but he can still hit that mid-range shot a little bit, what's his midi at? Uh, it's okay, not really that good. I mean, it's a 71. He can hit it probably if he's wide open. Uh, so not bad. Okay, I'll definitely take it. He's a 77 overall. So did they actually put his rating up a little bit? I, I can't even tell. Um, what else we got going on here? We got a few games here. And, yo, I'm, we actually got three big games coming up. Now, I don't know if you guys want me to simulate more games or if you want me to play more games. I know I kind of have a mixed reaction. Uh, what I'm probably going to do... Man, because I hate to simulate this game against the Cavs. We just did a game. Uh, but y'all you all want to see another game, don't you? We're going to go ahead, and we're going to do a back-to-back, -back, man. We're going to do another game against the Cleveland Cavaliers, man. we got to play against LeBron James. we definitely got to show out for that game, see what we can do out there. And uh, besides for that, though, our team is going pretty good. I still got to get all this training stuff down. Like, I don't know too much about it. we got some rest days here, so we got to practice. Um, you know, play back-to-back. -back. I mean, it's early in the season, but I love our team to be rested against the Cavaliers. So we're going to go ahead and give them a rest day, I suppose. You know, we want to be big and strong. You know, drink your calcium, drink your milk, uh, get your rest day in, and then get ready to, to ball out in Cleveland against LeBron James, Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving. Uh, team training. See, I don't know how to deal with all this. I know there's like, a, I don't know, it's, I guess like it's like training and all that by player ban by player type balanced. Um, team chemistry. Okay, so this is actually gives us a way to work on like chemistry and all that. Uh, defense, draw foul, all that. And definitely team chemistry is something I want to put up. So I'm going to allocate some time towards that. I believe I did that correctly. Uh, physical. Uh, let's work on let's work on our speed a little bit here. Let's get some speed going. And fundamental. Uh, we're going to work on that. Yo, we got LeBron James coming in the house, though, man. We got to get our block game up, man. We cannot just have him drive into the basket. So we're going to work on that a little bit, too. And, uh, yo, I think I did that all correctly. Although, if we have a rest day, it's really not going to make that big a deal. Because, uh... You know, like, quite honestly, I mean, we're resting. So, I guess just for future reference, it's good stuff to put up. We'll look at that later on, too, in the series. Um, let's look at our training here. We don't want guys getting tired too early. So, you know, I think medium's good for now. People start bitching about practice. And they all know, they always know they do, man. It's always Allen Iverson out there talk about practice. Then, uh, <laughs> you know, then it's it's, it's going to be a different story. But we'll look at that there. Uh, player training. Yeah, I don't know too much about this either. Let's go ahead and find my boy. Uh, where's he at? Justice Winslow, so yeah, this is more like a team-oriented training thing here, so I think that's all fine, we can do custom for him, and uh, yeah, like allocate all that, and use him as like an individual basis, so with Justice, what's something we want to put up here, I know his mid-range game, definitely something that needs to be approved, I don't think it's going to be done via practice though, we talk about practice, his defense game is pretty good, 
um, I wouldn't mind getting his three-point up a little bit more here. So let's actually take away some of that training from... What, what, what do we got here, man? Like, steel. His steel is pretty solid. We'll take that down a little bit to a four. And we'll allocate a few more of this over to his three-point game. We want his uh, moving three-point shot for sure. If I can find it. Where's his, where's his three-point shot at? Why is it all just moving? Let's not pass it. Man, that's always something with 2K. Yo, where's that, man? Player type. All right, it's all good. It's all good. I really don't care. I guess we can't put up his regular three-point shot. If anybody knows how to do it, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, we'll be fine with that for right now. Intensity. Um, that's fine right there. Team. So, yeah, I'm actually, trying, I'm actually finally getting a better understanding of all this player training stuff, which is very important. Uh, team development. I think this is just kind of like our stats. You're like seeing how our team improves uh, month by month and whatnot. So, you know, they're seeing a little bit of improvement already early in the season. We got player development here. I think this is more like an individual basis and kind of what a player is doing for themselves. Not too much going on here with that. Uh, besides for that, though, I mean, everything's are looking good, guys. Yo, uh, let's go ahead and look at our pricing. You all know if you saw my Knicks series back on 2K15, man, I'm a big fan of Dollar Hot Dogs. You know, I'm a, I want the family to come and eat, man. I want them to come in here and just be like, yo, yo, dad, man, I paid a lot of money for these tickets. I don't got enough for a hot dog. So we're going to go ahead and give them them Dollar Hot Dogs again, man. Everything else going to be a price, man. You thirsty, man. You get you thirsty for a soda. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me put my Dollar Hot Dog on here. Here we go. What the, what the heck, man? How do I, how do I approve this? Okay, here we go. Apply price change. So you may get your hot dollar hot dog, man, but you better not be thirsty because you're going to be paying $5 for a soda still. Uh, but, yo, you, you tell me eat your hot dog, though, man. You know, I know, I know there's some little fat boy out there that's like, we're good. Dad, can I get 10 hot dogs? They only a dollar. And I go, all right, all right, Jorge. <laughs> we got our ticket pricing, parking. Let's go ahead and decrease pricing a little bit here for parking, man. I can't stand going to a damn game and paying almost half the price of a ticket for parking. But we're going to go ahead and raise this to uh, $80. For a ticket, you know, no, we're doing big things. Like we can be eighty-five dollars. So parking's down, ticket up. It's really all. God damn it! I keep on forgetting to. God damn! I keep on forgetting to do it. Price change. All right, you got that. Eighty-five. We'll put this at uh. You know, fifteen fifty. Man, I'm, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be that guy out there. that's like, yo, man, uh, yo, I, I got twenty dollars. Really, you got change? Like, yo, it's fifteen fifty. <laughs> yeah, we got that fifty cents. I want people digging around in their car trying to find that loose change. So we go with that merchandise. Y'all want to get a Krispy Flakes hat, souvenir program, uh, whatever, man. It's, you know, that's all the prices right there. We'll see how that does with our finances going forward. Coffee, man. Yo, these are night games. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be tired, man. You get hyped out here, man. You, know, you can get your ass a coffee, man. I'm gonna raise it the damn four dollars, man. You shouldn't be you shouldn't if we're not hyping you up, you ain't uh you ain't a fan of our team. So four dollars for a quick coffee right there. And uh yo, we can try to get this finances going a little bit here, because you get the finance game strong, that's more money for your team. When you are setting prices for tickets, merchandise, whatever, how concerned are you uh, with great value to the fans? Um, fan value, man. I'm fan value, man. Everything I do is for a reason. <laughs> so we good with that. What's this video looking like here? We got, uh, are we going on about eight minutes here? Uh, we did a lot of this video. You know, we got our training going. We got our prices set. Like I said, next episode going to be a full gameplay against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I need to know from you guys in the comments section below, do you guys want more straight on gameplays? Do you want me to take this season nice and slow? Or do you want me to simulate, do some quick sims, do some uh, sim casts and all that stuff? I'll do whatever you guys want to see. I don't mind doing games, all that stuff. And uh, yo, uh, real talk though, man. Social media, look at that bottom one. It's broken arm for Steph Curry. So that's not good for Steph, but hey, it's whatever, right? It happens though. Um, one last thing to check out is just seeing how our team's doing here. I mean, it was only played one game. D-Wade played out of his mind. The Flash is back. Look at them numbers, 21 points. 10 assists, 3 steals, and 2 blocks. Y'all tell me the flash isn't back. He got some turnovers, but he had the ball out of his hand. Uh, Gerald Green played a like, monster game, too. Dragic, very interesting player for us going forward, man. Like, 5 points is not bad. He only shot 2 times, though. He was he shot 100%, so we might look to utilize him a little bit more. Uh, Chris Bosh shot, you know, pretty decent out there, 50%. So, a lot of different things we have to do out here, and uh, we just have to get our chemistry down. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Peace out, my friends.